Hey, so you're thinking about buying a home in Round Rock, Texas. Round Rock is a super popular suburb with a great mix of amenities while still being super close to all the action and excitement of the ATX. Round Rock is located directly north of Austin, about 25 to 35 minutes, depending on where you are headed or coming from. This suburb is home to nearly 130,000 residents, and it is also home to the Dell Technologies campus, which was opened in 1996. Round Rock is a lot more than just a tech hub, though. It also offers a wide variety of neighborhoods, highly rated schools, and a wide array of entertainment. So whether you're looking to move to a new home or potentially start a new job, Round Rock has a lot to offer. But is it the right place for your next move? Let's break down the pros and cons of the city and see how it ranks for your next move or your real estate investment. I'm Daphne Quay, your boss lady realtor here in Austin, Texas, and I work with people from all over the US and all over the world that want to relocate to Austin or sell their home here. If you're thinking about buying a home in Austin, contact me. My contact information is in the description below. You can also set up a direct one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me through the link at the description below. Zoom is my favorite. I love hearing from you guys. Also, before we get started, make sure to click the subscribe button so you get notified every time I have a new video about Austin and surrounding areas. Let's just jump right into the pros of Round Rock. To start with, Round Rock has a wide variety of style and price range of homes. There are several homes that were built in the early 80s all the way to brand new construction homes. Two of the most popular neighborhoods and personally two of my favorite neighborhoods in Round Rock are first, Terra Vista. Terra Vista is a newer golf course community near to tons of shopping and quick access to the highway. The community also has Terra Vista Elementary School right in the development, which is walking distance from a lot of the homes. The school is rated seven out of 10, according to greatschools.org. Another neighborhood that I really like and is also very popular in Round Rock is the Forest Creek neighborhood. Forest Creek is a more established and stately looking neighborhood. It is also built on a golf course. Forest Creek also has its own community pool and elementary school, which is also rated seven out of 10, according to greatschools.org. So you as my viewer, what do you think? Have you lived in Terra Vista or Forest Creek? Do you love it? Do you dislike it? If you love it, I wanna hear what you love about the neighborhood. If you've lived in either one of these neighborhoods or maybe both and you're not crazy about them, leave a comment and let me know, but please keep it respectful. We always wanna keep it respectful in the comment section. Please and thank you. Okay, next, as I mentioned at the beginning, of the video, Round Rock is also home to Dell Technologies, Dell Computers, as I think pretty much everybody knows. It is also home to several large hospitals. So this really means that you can find different types of job opportunities in Round Rock if you're thinking of relocating there. Anything from tech, sales, or even in the medical field. Another point that people really tend to like about Round Rock is that it is a very established and very predictable community. When Austin first started growing, I think Round Rock was one of the first suburbs to really take off, in part because of the location and I think also because of the fact that Dell Technologies is there. They were one of the first IT campuses that came to Austin. After Dell, I want to say Apple opened up in the early 2000s, then Samsung, and so on. So like I mentioned, the whole city of Round Rock has been established for a bit. There are newer communities where you can find brand new construction homes, but people generally have a pretty good idea of like what they're getting into in Round Rock. Also, the people that I know that live in Round Rock and the families that I've helped buy homes or sell homes in Round Rock typically tend to stay there for a long time. I've heard recently that the average move rate in Austin is usually every five to seven years. It might honestly be less than that at this point, but I feel like in Round Rock, I tend to see people stay in their neighborhood anywhere from, I would say seven to about 12, 15 years or so, which is great. If you're looking for really predictable stability, your neighborhood isn't gonna be turning all the time. You're not gonna have new neighbors all the time. It's not really the type of place where you have a ton of people moving in and out all the time. You don't know your neighbors. Another positive thing, like I mentioned earlier in this video, there's a pretty wide variety of style of homes. There's also pretty wide range of home prices in Round Rock. I was recently looking in the MLS and I found that within the last 90 days, the least expensive home in Round Rock sold was, brace yourself because I couldn't believe this, the least expensive home was $240,000, which is a price that I have not seen probably in the last four years anywhere. So that is definitely the exception, but somebody bought a home in Round Rock for $240,000. And the most expensive home that I found was $3.5 million. Also the exception, the next most expensive home 
home, uh, I guess before the $3.5 million home that I found was 1.5. So you can, you can get a beautiful home in Round Rock from anywhere, I'd say about 750,000 to about 900,000. Finally, the last pro of Round Rock that I think a lot of people may not know or may not necessarily talk about, which they should. Round Rock outlets. Actually, Round Rock has a really nice outlet mall, which I think it's overshadowed by the San Marcos outlets, which are south about an hour and 10 minutes. The Round Rock outlets has a pretty good variety of stores. You can find Under Armour, Nike, Adidas, Banana Republic, though I feel like Banana Republic outlets are questionable. So mm, they have a Starbucks there. Yeah, you can also find Oshkosh Bagosh if you have little children or maybe small animals that need to be dressed. They also have Ann Taylor, they have Gucci, they have Puma, and the list goes on and on. Let's jump right into the negative or the cons of living in Round Rock. First of all, let me start with the traffic. Traffic throughout Austin is bad pretty much everywhere, but there is this particular spot in Round Rock on IH35 headed south. Let me grab my phone. It is right around the Hester's Crossing intersection up to about Old Settlers Boulevard. And that portion of IH35 in Round Rock always bottlenecks and it is always stopped. I do not know why. I have been there throughout multiple times of the week, throughout different times of the day, and it's always congested. So if you're headed south on that portion, just expect to wait. It sucks. It's unreasonable. There's no construction going on there. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but let's move on to another point to complain about. Just like the rest of Texas, Round Rock is a very large land mass or mass of land, I guess is how you would say it. It's a large city, not large city like Houston is, but it's a, it's a pretty spacious suburb. If you end up living in a neighborhood that's close to one of the highways or where the highways intersect, I think you're going to be in really good shape and very happy because you'll have access to everything pretty quickly. However, if you're in one of the newer neighborhoods that is maybe North North Round Rock on the edge of Georgetown, for instance, everything feels like it's super far away because there is so much construction. Of course, they're having to go out further and further. And there's been times Times where I've gone to meet clients to look at homes in these new communities in Round Rocks, and we find ourselves surrounded by farmland, cows, and new construction homes. Uh, and it feels pretty remote. Next point, Round Rock is generally known for having good schools, but there are a handful of neighborhoods that actually have schools that do not have a very high rating, which is sort of surprising. It's There's a few neighborhoods that have schools that are consistently rated minimum eight out of 10, seven out of 10, 10 out of 10, like Cactus Ranch Elementary. And then there's other neighborhoods that have elementary schools that are rated like four or five out of 10. So if schools are a priority, of course, it's gonna be really important to hop on niche.com or greatschools.org to see what the top rated schools are for the neighborhoods you might be interested in. Another point, and I've talked about this in other videos and I will continue to talk about this because I don't think this is ever going to go away, is Round Rock has really high property taxes. Now, not all of Round Rock, if you end up in a more established neighborhood, the property tax rate can typically be about 2.5% of the assessed value, but if you're in one of the newer neighborhoods, like the newer portion of Terra Vista, which I talked about earlier, I've seen tax rates be as high as 3.2% over there, which is really high. And then another thing that I recently found out about Round Rock, which was a surprise to me, is the crime rates. Now, I'm not an expert about any of crime rates. If you watch any other of my videos, I've literally never talked about crime rates anywhere, but I got curious and I went on niche.com and let me tell you what I found. So I went on niche.com and because I wanted to find more accurate information and I saw that it was rated a C plus, which is surprising because I feel like every time I've been in Round Rock, most of the areas look pretty predictable, pretty chill. There's not a ton going on. I will say there are pockets that are more rundown and that's likely where some of the stuff happens. But if you want more accurate information, I always recommend going to the neighborhood police websites or you can check on niche.com and do your own investigative of work and see what you come up with because at the end of the day, you have to be comfortable and confident wherever you end up living. That pretty much wraps up my video for the pros and cons of living in Round Rock. I have two very good friends that live in Round Rock in different neighborhoods and they've always been very happy there. They don't want to move. They love their lifestyle. I do spend some time in Round Rock. I do go to the outlets now and then. Every now and then we'll hop over to the Round Rock downtown area, which is super cute. They've got a couple cute restaurants and bars and sometimes it's just nice to like walk around there because it's cute and quaint and kind of historical looking. I've had multiple clients that have relocated here from out of state that have ended up buying homes in Round Rock. Uh, most of the time they end up relocating for work and they come from places like California, New York, 
Oregon, California, I already said California, but we'll throw that in there because a lot of people come from California. Anyway, if you're thinking about selling a home in Austin or buying a home in Austin, contact me. My contact information is in the description below. You can even set up a direct one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me, which is my absolute favorite. I love meeting you guys through Zoom and then eventually in person. Anyway, I'm Daphne Quay, your boss lady realtor. Till next time, bye.